Let us start a new drawing. You can click this icon here. And since I'm using millimeters, I'm going to use Akadisu 3D template for metric units and click open. I'm just going to arrange my window. So go to view, tile vertically. I'm going to move this reference drawing to the other side. So just click anywhere on this window, tile vertically again. And make sure to work on parallel projection. So I'm just going to adjust the size of my windows here first. So for parallel projection, click this drop down arrow, select parallel. And I'm going to start working from top view. So go to custom view, select top. And this is the top view here. So I'm going to start drawing a circle first, anywhere on the screen. And the radius is 9, so type in 9. Right click to repeat circle from the center. And enter 20. And the distance from this circle here to this point, to the center, is 106. So I'm just gonna copy this one, copy selection from center, bring it down for 106. Before we proceed, make sure your dynamic input is on. Polar tracking, object snap tracking, object snap, and selection cycling. Now I'm gonna draw another line. Maybe just somewhere here for 106. And move this one from midpoint to midpoint. I'm going to copy this selection, attach it here, and attach it here. Now I'm going to draw a line from the center or midpoint and move it above the x-axis so this is x and inside the first quadrant just move it upward doesn't matter what's the length so and then press the tab key and enter 45 degrees for angle now as you can see here the distance from this uh, point from the center down here down to this uh, intersection here is 23.31 so what I'm gonna do is maybe erase this one so it's out of the way so line from center and enter 22.31 enter and move sideways and click anywhere here so this is our interest here the intersection so what I'm going to do is just trim. So TR for trim command. Enter twice. Just remove that and remove this one. Now I'm going to draw a line. And press shift right click and select tangent. Click anywhere here. When you see that symbol, tangent symbol, you can click anywhere here. And just click that um, in point or intersection. Another line. Shift right click and select tangent. Click anywhere here and just click that in point. Now I could delete this now. And this one. And I'm going to mirror. So MI for mirror command. Select these two lines. Specify first point of mirror line. You can start from that center. Go downward. Click that center. And enter. Mirror again. This line. This line this line and this line and go sideways so uh, click that uh, midpoint and go sideways and enter now I'm gonna trim uh, I'll create first this circle here at the center and the radius for that is 29 so circle enter 29 now another circle from the quadrant and enter 4. Another circle. I'm just going to copy this one. Quadrant to quadrant. Now, time to clean up. So, I'm going to trim. So, TR for trim command. Enter twice. 
remove this one this one here this one you can delete that now I'm going to join the segments by typing J for join command and just window the whole thing. Let me check. No, we have to do it twice. So join, select this uh, segment and this one. I'm going to check again. Now it's one object and join again. I'm just going to join this circle with the two ears. Let me check. Yeah, I think it's one object too. So bring your drawing to Southwest Isometric. So inside the view controls, Southwest. And extrude this one. And as you can see here, the thickness is 34. Looking from front view. So extrude. So go to home. And inside the modeling panel, select extrude command. Select this object. Bring it down for 34 units. I'm just going to turn off the grid and I'm just going to use press pull command to poke the holes. So hover over, once it turns uh, blue, left click, let go of your finger, bring your mouse down and left click quickly. Same process. And I'm just going to move this one. Erase those unwanted objects. And I think we are done. So thanks for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon to get notified for the next tutorial.